completed his last six passes. Here's the handoff. And that'll gain just a few yards. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. The play clock's running down. Another handoff. This has been a long drive so far. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. They'll force it across for the touchdown. And with more than a quarter to play, this situation here is suddenly looking a whole lot less dire. How about that? Just in a few seconds, everything turns around. Now we have a close game, and everything is going to change here late in the third going into the fourth. Takes it from the two. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Now as we see the numbers, a lot of credit goes to the coaching staff for not giving up on the run game. It wasn't working early, but has paid off late. Jim, you were right that time. The coaching staff, they've shown a lot of patience to stay with the run game. The offensive line, of course, they're playing better. They're tough, and now they're finally getting it done. First down at the 27. Ryan Cushing puts it into that play. The Titans have had a great rushing attack all game, Phil. Sankey's been absolutely brilliant and almost impossible to bring down. What a dominating performance by this offense today. Just coming out and out hitting the defense, giving the running back opportunities, and they are taking advantage of it. Second and four. Darnell Dockett gets to the quarterback. Hey, easy call. Be safe. Put the pressure on the other team to make the plays on the offensive side to beat you. So right here, you call something very conservative. Let's go. Mariota's standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation. That play is going to be challenged. They're going to take another look at this one to try to determine if it was an accurate spot. Well, Jim, when there's a challenge of spotting the football, what they're doing when they go to replay, they're trying to see it has to be clear. In other words, it can't be they're not going to move it one inch or something like that. They have to have a spot on the field where they clearly can see that the spot was not right for them to change where it was spotted. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So he challenged the play, and the coach's challenge does not pay off. Well, I, I agree with the head coach still. I would have made this challenge because it was so important to the outcome of the game, and it was a little bit of a gamble, but it was worth it. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Texans offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them the last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, in this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. And when you feel you've got the momentum on your side, you've got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right play. That's a gain of eight. The defense will take. The penalty. A long field ahead of them at the ten. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whedon's got it in the gun. And Arian Foster has the catch. Picks up eight here. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Whedon's now completed his last seven passes. The reception by Foster. That's a gain of six. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. One quarter to go, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Texans have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. This is third down. The Titans with a nickel look here on defense. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Unable to complete that one. And that's a very quick three and out. The Texans call on their punter. This will be a fair catch by McCluster. You see the matchup at running back, and while only one side has really been able to count on that run game, it's still a very close game. Yeah, it is, Jim. Close game here, and also that can happen when you talk about run games. They're going to go up and down, and if you're having trouble running the football, then change the direction of your offense. Do something else. First down at the 23. Running room. Sankey's brought down after picking up six on this play. The Texans have focused on controlling the ground game all year, but today they've lost the battle, and that's a reason why they trail in this one, Phil. Yeah, you know, sometimes stopping to run, it's just about a couple things. One, it's about toughness, just wanting to do it, and you need great willpower. They are not sure. gets to the quarterback. Great situation to be in for the defense right here. It's third long, and even though their team is losing the game, you could get after the quarterback and hope you can find a way to force a turnover. The Titans from the 22. Surveys. Kendall Wright has the reception. That's his first reception today. The Titans have been fantastic on offense today, and that's big for this team because the offense has struggled oftentimes this season. Well, to say they've struggled oftentimes this season is a big understatement, Jim. They've been borderline awful, but maybe they have found something. Wilford all over the quarterback and wraps him up. Defensive tackles, we always think of them as run stoppers. How about this that time? He does a great job, gets in there, and sacks the quarterback. Loss of four on the play. Sankey's taking the handoff. Well, it's do or die right now, and you've got to go ahead and make the call to give your offense a chance to get this first down. And I know this team, they have a lot at their disposal. I think there's a play in there that's going to give them a good chance. Scanning the field. Looking to go deep. Tough catch. Breaks the tackle.
Chin, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. First down and 10. Sankey, Scott on the handle. He didn't get many yards that time on that run, but he's had a terrific day. When there's an opportunity to get some yards, he's been there to take advantage of it. The Texans' defense now is going to go nickel. Titans are in for the score. Sankey's now rushed for seven touchdowns this season. And with less than a quarter to play, it's going to be very difficult to catch them at this point. Yeah, the, the chances of a comeback have almost gone. But I'll say this on the offensive side. Don't take any chances and see if you can just find a way to march down the field to score to keep this game going. He's got a chance to return this one. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Texans offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at him when they went to the sidelines. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. The Titans have given up a lot of points this season. Well documented, but you look at their effort today, and it has been exceptional. Yeah, it's been a bad year for the defensive side, no doubt about it, Jim. But today, it's about effort. They're getting that done. And really, here's what the coaches told the defensive players. Just go out there and do your job. If you do that, you'll have success. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. The Titans lined up in the nickel. They need to get the playoff. Mallet's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Game 14. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. Mallet's three for three with that completion. And it's complete to Washington. And Washington's tackled down after a gain of seven. Jim, here in the fourth quarter, when you're down, what you want to do is just keep that football moving. That time it's a short throw. He gets a completion. Good job. Mallet's now completed four in a row. And it's swatted away. The football is at the 38. Foster in the backfield, single back set. Foster's tackled right at the 35. Foster's going to be mad at himself after that run. He picked the wrong hole. If he'd have went the other way, he would have had enough space to pick up the first down. He has stopped. Now it brings up fourth down. The Texans will take the snap from the 35. No one's going to get him now. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. We don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. The Texans for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. 